Hi guys, so I want to talk about making legendary equipment and how to obtain the ascended pieces, which are the precursors, in an easy way. So you talk to the skirmish supervisor and he will show you all of the exotic unlocks in the very first bag. And the way that you get those is by running the triumphant track. And I'm on an alt account, so this is going to be a little bit different. So you scroll down and you find the triumphant armor track right here. And And that's the one that you'll activate. And at the end, you'll get a chest that looks like this, and it has a piece of armor in it. And what that does, um, you unlock a piece, say, like a, you're going for the light armor, you would unlock, like, one of the light armor pieces. You have to unlock all six, so that means you have to run this track six times. And then that will unlock these pieces automatically in here and the, the exotic armor is free in that final chest. When you unlock an item on the exotics and nothing's unlocked on this account, then it automatically unlocks the corresponding piece here in the vendor. Now, these are precursors. You can um, transmute them for a different look if you don't necessarily like it. Let's show you. That's the boots. And I do happen to like the boots in this, but I don't love... I'll go ahead and just put on all the armor so that you can see it. I don't really love the armor itself, so I usually transmute it. Now, what you don't want to do, and I did that before knowing, was you do not want to stat change this armor because when you stat change the armor, it turns it into, like, say, um, the Zoysia is a, the Zerk armor. That piece then becomes recognized as... I don't know if I'm saying that her name right because I don't hear so whatever. But anyway, Zoija is what I'm going to call her. Um, that turns that into her specific armor. And then you have lost the triumphant piece. And it literally has to say triumphant hero's raiment on the item preview. Because if it says anything else, when you put it in the Mystic Forge, it's going to tell you that, you know, that's not a precursor. So, I mean, I think it would have been helpful if they had made a note that this was a precursor. Um, but they didn't, and I learned the hard way that that was a bad idea. Now, what's nice about this, and you can't see it on here, but um, because I don't have this unlocked, but... This, I think the chest is the most expensive piece, and I think it's around 300, maybe 350. And I'll switch to my other count in a few minutes so that you can see all of the, um, the costs of this. And in fact, I think I'll go ahead and do that right now before I continue because um, this makes it difficult to really see what's going on. Okay guys, I'm back and I want to show you, this is the box that you get at the end of that track. And I do have some on this account opened. I have a bunch of alt accounts just because. Um, so let's see, I have this legs open and I'm going to go ahead and open the chest. And if you wanted to buy this piece, which is you, something that you really don't want to do, um, because you can get them free just by running the track, you would have to pay 260 tickets and 250 memories of battle. That's really expensive. You're better off just to run the track. And um, 
Then as you can see here, those corresponding pieces are opened up in the precursor, the pink. And I think like I said um, earlier, you don't want to buy these because by running the track, this is absolutely free. There's no reason to spend 350 tickets and 250 memories of battle to purchase the exotics because your tickets are way more useful to purchase the precursors. So that unlocks the chest and the chest is the most expensive piece. It's um, 350 tickets, three gold and four Grandmaster Tailor Marks. Now the Tailor Marks um, are for the light armor and then you get the what is the leather worker one called it's called oh, leather workers mark and then you have the heavy armor and I'm not sure what that's called but excuse me um anyway these you can get by playing just by playing um, you get these little shards as you play and once you get ten of them you just can come over here and buy this box of Grand Master Marks. And it will give you your choice of whatever Grand Master Mark that you want. Um, so that's a really easy, free way to get your Grand Master Marks instead of crafting them. You can craft them. Let me. Okay, here's the recipes. And you can craft um, here your artificers. This isn't too bad. It's, you have to buy the recipe and you only buy it one time. So that's not too bad. Uh, it takes 25 tickets and 10 memories of battle. And to make those Grand Master Marks, you absolutely have to have this if you're going to craft them. Now, if you're just going to buy the box, you don't need the um, recipe. Because this, when you have 10 shards, that gives you the box and you just click it to open it and it has the big coin in there. Okay, so back to this. Um... Again, this is a precursor. You can transmute it, but definitely do not stat change it because if you stat change it, the Mystic Forge will not recognize it as the precursor to your legendary armor. Now, on the legendary armor, I'm going to go ahead and make a separate video for that and I will actually show myself crafting a piece of the legendary armor. So um, that'll be a different video. The skirmish tickets are like gold. Don't waste them. I wasted a whole bunch of mine buying weapons and different things and I live to regret that. But anyway, so that is how you get that. Armory is coming and we it's going to be just so convenient to have legendary armor because it will put it in um, I'm, I'm sure kind of like we do with the um, well I don't I've kind of lost my train of thought on that. Let me show you here. It will put it in we go to the stats here build I assume that it's somehow going to be connected with this type of thing probably or possibly you know um, a separate screen or they're going to add additional bars here or something like that a template but you will be able to use the legendary equipment on all of your Tunes, as long as they are all, say you make the light legendary, well, you'll be able to use that on all of your light classes or medium, all your medium classes. So it's going to be really convenient. You're not going to have to take it and put it in the bank and then go get your other character and equip that character. And it's going to be just really, really nice. So um, that's definitely something to start looking forward to. This is not a fast process but then again none of the legendary armor is pvp legendary you've got to really grind for it um raid legendary you've got to really grind for that too and i am still working on some of it in the raid but P the world versus world i'm sorry my dogs are making noise and the world versus world armor it just happens so easily while you're playing the game that's what Sorry, that's, 
what I really, really love about it is that you can just play. You don't even have to think about it. Each week you get your tickets, and each week you get about 350 tickets, I think. It's limited to that. And so by the time you get ready to craft your first piece, you will ha should have your shards all ready to go. You should be able to buy your precursor, and then you should be able to craft your legendary piece. And I just did mine one by one. Um, some people save it all up and do it all at once. So it's kind of, you know, personal preference on them. But anyway, I hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, just um, message me in the guild or in the game or in Discord. And I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Square